Hey guys, Sky into Football here, back with another video. And today we are back with the Premier League predictions for Game Week 2. Game Week 2 has finally arrived after we have completed the Premier League predictions of Game Week 1, now on to Game Week 2. In Game Week 1, I scored one point after getting one prediction right. Let's hope I can hopefully get two predictions right this week. So. Right then guys, let's get straight into the video then, into the first game of the video. Right, the first game is um, Liverpool versus Burnley. Liverpool coming off a 3-0 win, easy, easy win you could say over Norwich. And, it, and, a t and Burnley coming off a 2-1 defeat at home to um, Brighton. So overall... A great start for Liverpool, getting their start they really wanted. And Burnley, not the best of starts. It's not the best of starts because you haven't spent anything for Burnley. Well, to be honest, for this game here, I think Burnley, you could say on paper, this is going to be an easy victory for Liverpool. Well, you say that, but you can't underestimate Burnley because Burnley have done it before at Anfield, but when they did it before... It was without the fans there. And the fans do make a massive difference, don't they? And Burnley last time, when the game was behind closed doors last season, got the 1-0 win against Liverpool. And it was a penalty from Ashley Barnes. So it can be kind of lucky, but it wasn't really. Because they still ended Liverpool's run, run I think. But I think this time, in front of Liverpool's fans at Anfield... In front of 53,000 fans it will be. I don't think Burnley will have much of a chance here. So I think it, it won't be easy for Liverpool. So I'm going to say that it will be comfortable in the end for Liverpool. So Liverpool, Liverpool t 2, Burnley 0. So 2 0 win to Liverpool. Right, to the next game now we've got Aston Villa versus Newcastle. Well, of course, Aston Villa lost to newly promoted Watford last week on the first game of the season, 3-2. And Newcastle lost 4-2 um, to West Ham at home um, last week. Well, they, um, well, Newcastle, to be honest, they played some brilliant stuff first half. And then apparently, apparently did. I didn't watch the first half, but saw that they did. But in the second half, they just got demolished in that defence. I don't know how that Newcastle defence were doing. They just got demolished by that West Ham attack. So for Newcastle, it's West Ham last week. Good first half, but really bad second half. Have Newcastle got the quality to compete against Aston Villa here? I don't think. I think Aston Villa are going to get the win here in front of um, a great bunch of Aston Villa supporters who. Um, who will really get that ground going and make lots of noise? So, I imagine Newcastle will bring, um, will sell out and they will bring their massive following as per usual. And they'll bring, they'll get behind the players. So this is this is set up to be a good match. So I'm going to say um, Aston Villa two, Newcastle nil. Just got to see it coming for Newcastle here. I think this will be Villa's first win of the season. So two 0 to Villa. Right, so next game in the next game now we got Crystal Palace versus Brentford. Well, this is Patrick Vera's first game at home in front of the fans this this season. So against new a newly promoted team, Brentford, who won last week, two 0 against Arsenal, and Palace lost three 0 to Chelsea. You could say this is actually kind of a London derby. Well, it isn't really a derby, but it is a kind of a London derby. I do think this will be relatively close. And you could say all all in all for this game, it will be a draw. But I just, I, but I think with Palace adjusting to the new players he got and the new manager here. Or, however, the fact that the next game being at home against a newly promoted team, no offence to Brentford here. Not taking everything away from them after their performance against Arsenal, right? But I think the fans might make a massive difference to Palace in this game. 
I'm not saying it will, but it might. However, I can see that um, Brentford upsetting Crystal Palace here. So I'm going to say, um, take a gamble here and say that Brentford are going to win. So Crystal Palace 1, Brentford 2. It might be 1-1, one, one. I might be wrong. Um, Palace might be able to find something. Um, but I just think Brentford will edge it. So 2-1 to Brentford. Right, the next game now. Next game now, we've got Leeds versus Everton. Well, of course, Leeds came, Leeds came got hammered by Manchester United in their derby match last week, and Everton got off to a flying start after, with a three-one win under Rafa Benitez. First, Rafa Benitez's first game in the Premier League as Everton manager. So I think in this game it is a draw written all over it in my opinion. But I think Leeds will in front of a packed 40,000 state seat stadium with 40,000 fans in it. I don't know if ever Ever tonight Matt probably will start and and they should do rarely, but um I think they will. I think Leeds will um it'll be good for Leeds to have the fans behind them. So I I think that it will be close. You'd think with the fans in Leeds would get the victory, but I am going to go in and say, with it being a really close game, I'm going to go in and say it's going to be a one-one draw. So Leeds won, Everton won. It's it's going to be a draw. Someone could win it, but I think um, who who knows? But I'm going to predict a draw. Right, the next game now we got Manchester City versus Norwich. Well, Man City lost last week, surprisingly, to Spurs 1-0. And uh, and Norwich um, got hammered 3-0 by Liverpool. But they didn't exactly play the worst, though. But it was, still wasn't a good result for them, though. For this game here, it should really be a relatively easy, easy fixture, easy fixture for Man City here. And I can't see any other winner than Manchester City. Man City really need to win this game here to get the league campaign underway. As he didn't, as he lost their first game of the season. So I'm going to go in and say, Man City three, Norwich nil. There's no hope there's any way here for Norwich. Norwich here, and I think it's going to be a very long afternoon for Norwich. I think it could possibly be more goals, but I am going to stick with three. For now, right to the next game. Now we got Brighton versus Watford. Well, of course, Brighton um, won on their first game of the season 2 1 away at Burnley. That was a great result for them. And what Watford won at home to Aston Villa 3 2 on their first game of the season. So both of these teams won. I can see a, a draw, a draw, something like a 1 1 draw written all over this. And, and I am going to predict this to happen. If any team is going to win this at home, I think it's going to be the home team and it's going to be Brighton. But I just can't see Watford losing this either. So if I don't think that, I'll go in with a, with a draw then. So Brighton won, Watford won. Right, the next game now we've got Southampton versus Manchester United. This will be, this will be quite an interesting one actually. Well, of course, Southampton lost three-one last week to um, Everton. However, the good sign for them: new signing Adam Armstrong scored in his debut after recently selling up Danny Ings to Aston Villa after letting him go. On Man United's side, side they got um, they won five-one against Leeds last night. Le Leeds last week, they wiped the floor with them. To be honest. And it was a really comfortable, comfortable game for them. You'd say in the end. I, don't, I think for this game, you'd say it will be another quite easy win for Manchester United here. But you can't write off Southampton, can you? Like, like I said about going into the game over Leeds, when even though Man United won five one in the end, who expected Man United to win five one though? This. So for this game, with all the good 
because hopefully they see Sanso coming on a little bit more and playing a little bit more. He didn't really play that much on Saturday, really. I think if uh, Sanso had been playing that whole game, I think Man United could have come away with more than five goals. I think Man United will come away with a relatively comfortable victory here. So I'm going to go in and say this here. Say say this here. Southampton nil, Manchester United two. So two nil win to Manchester United. I could possibly see another Bruno Fernandez double happening, maybe. Who knows? With uh, Paul Pogba, maybe Sancho getting involved. Who knows? Uh, everybody else could getting involved with Man United in that game. Right, the so next game now we've got my team Wolves versus Spurs. This will be a very interesting game. Right, this will be interesting. So, for Wolves, we lost our opening game of the season to Leicester 1 0 away. And Spurs, surprisingly, beat Manchester City 1 0. That was a massive victory for them. And that was without Harry Kane as well. This is, will be a special game for us because Nuno will be returning to Molyneux because he now manages Spurs. Hopefully he will get a good welcome. I will give him a good welcome. I won't boo him or anything. I'll give him a good welcome after all he did for the club. Going into this game on paper, I'm going on to this now, I do think that I do think that a draw is uh, really mathematically a sensible result to predict, really. I'd love a, I'd love a win here, but I just can't see it. Um, if um, Harry Kane... Um, I don't know if Harry Kane is back for Spurs in this game here. I'm not quite sure actually. If he is back, uh, if he is back for Spurs, that is massive. Nuno says he doesn't know whether he's playing just yet. He hasn't really, he hasn't really commented on it just yet. So for this game here, I think one-one is really the correct prediction here. So. I can't see if winning. I'd love a win, but I just can't see it. I think 1-1's one, the right prediction. So my prediction here is Wolves 1, Spurs 1. If you can get all three, I'd love all three. But a point will do me just to get some kind of points on the board. Right, um, on to the next game. Now we've got Arsenal versus Chelsea. Well, of course, Arsenal... Got humiliated by the newly promoted Brentford 2-0 last time out. And Chelsea won 3-0 last time. In a really comfortable victory against Crystal Palace. For this game, going for Arsenal really, they have got to get something out of it. Because after, it, that, that, after Chelsea, they've got Manchester City after that. It's not the easiest schedule for Arsenal with all... Uh, in all fairness, all fairness, but they've got to do a, they've got to do a lot better. Like, well, they have brought in some new signing uh, signings today. Today, it can't come out today actually. Martin Ude, Martin Udegaard on a, a permanent transfer from Real Madrid, and Aaron Ramsdale, and Aaron Ramsdale from um, from Sheffield United. I don't know if these players will be involved for the for the game against Chelsea. I don't know if they're allowed to play or not. We'll soon see on the day. But overall, for this game, I just can't see a way through for Arsenal here. And Chelsea might kill kill them off before half time. So I'm going to say Arsenal nil, Chelsea three. We'll soon see what happens. Right on to the next game. Now we got. Last game now, West Ham versus Leicester. I can't predict this really. If any team's gonna win, I think it'll be the own team. Just it, and I, I've got to judge this by the opening day as well, because Leicester got one goal on the opening day. West Ham got four. 
Uh, however, however, new they conceded. Um, West Ham conceded to, and Leicester conceded none. But overall, I do think that um, a two a two two draw would be realistic. But possibly three three might be. It would be great to see a three three draw for once. But overall, I think it will be a two two draw. So West Ham two, Leicester two. So. Right then, guys, that will be the end of the Premier League predictions for game week two now. So, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Enjoy, enjoy the football this weekend for another weekend of football for the Premier League and the rest of the other EFL leagues as well. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye, everyone.